Hello guys, um, this is episode 3 of our Sith Warrior, um, I've been doing a bit of research into these videos just because um, I don't know what you guys are going to want from them, um, so basically I've, I've noticed a lot of videos do commentary on them obviously, um, but I've also seen a few where they don't and they just let the story unfold. Um, so let me know what you think I should and shouldn't do because basically you're my viewers and I'm going to work the videos around what you want so if you don't want me doing commentary over it just let me know I mean I mean, for the, like, the quests and stuff I don't really talk anyway just because I'm listening to it myself because I find it interesting myself um, so yeah just let me know um, uh, we, we reached level 10 in the last episode um, and I travelled back here, like I said I was going to do, and I realised that we could have a speeder. So I've got it out, and it looks like the sweet bike from KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. It literally looks spitting image of it in my eyes, with a few tweaks here and there. So, pretty chuffed about that. Um, anyway, let's get on to... Story so we can add, with it here, we can either go to her and again, light side points, so we can come here, grass her up, and get dark side points. Have you finally acquired the mutant took out a brain, or should I send someone else? I have what you asked for. <sighs> ha, wonderful, let me see it. Your beast died much too easily. Then I release you back to the killing fields. May you find greater fulfillment there. You've done me a great service, but now I must continue my research. If there's nothing else? Melora asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, there's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master. It's a lie. I haven't betrayed you. I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. <laughs> Master, please stop! No! Ah! Oh, think we I dropped her in the crap. The pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Melora and I have much to discuss. You should reward me for exposing this traitor. Eliminating an enemy of the Sith Empire is its own reward. Go now. Ooh. I think he was getting annoyed with us, uh... Right. Let's just have a look what we need to do. Right. We can go back. So, what we need to do is... Is this any good for us? No. We've got lots of crap. I'm going to use that. Right, so... We can go... Well, you know what? In fact... Quick travel! Now has five minute a six minute cooldown, which is awesome, believe me. I played this game when it first came out and it was like an hour. It's like what But now they've changed everything to make the game much more f flowing is the word I wanna use. Don't know if it's the right word. <laughs> Alright. So we've got a mission up here that says scan the acolytes. So let's Scan this one, see what it comes up with. He's a traitor! Killed him. What about this guy? Nope, not a traitor. This guy. Traitor! Still need to get all the other data crumbs. I've decided as well there's not many um, walkthroughs for level 1 to 60s out there, so we're going to do that at some point as well. Well, basically, I'm going to do it with every character. 
and every species at some point. Like I said, I want to get the legendary status. And I want to do it with you guys. Um, in terms of length of the videos as well, most of them out there were... Those hang on. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favour. And wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. Alright. Oh, level 11. Same for speed, I don't need to. I've got loads of them. I've even got my favourite, shall I show you? Yep, start 60 now, yep, good for you. Collections and I want vehicles. Now where's my favourite one? I always take Eclipse. I thought that was it then, but I don't think it is. What's it called now? Got the techno areas, Red Spirit. Oh, actually. Weapons. Zeost lightsaber. Yeah, baby. Alright, um. What do we need to do? We just need to go and see Tremel, don't we? That one. I'm gonna put that one over there. So what was I saying? Um, yeah, in terms of length of the videos, I'm gonna probably look at doing them between half an hour to 45 minutes long, which is longer than your normal video because I've noticed most of them are like 15 minutes. But I just feel like you don't get much done in them 15 minutes of recording. Um, but depending on how it goes, I might change things up. Well, look who's here. Remember me? You need to move out of my way. I put myself in your way, buddy. On purpose. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts, no more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. We'll see about that, pal. No, hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So, strong. I don't want to die. Ask for no mercy and expect none. Die like a Sith. Oh, I failed you, Vemrin. Ah. Ah. Well, he won't mess with us again. Because he's dead. We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Corriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Good. I've been waiting for this a long time. After meeting him, you may find yourself wishing you had more time to prepare. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always. Take him seriously. And I mean, always. You worry too much, Tremel. I just wish we'd had a little more time. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Huh. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. He shall wait as long as I want him to. Should have some new skills. 
So we should farm. There we go, that's our guardian stance. Don't need it for now though, we need DPS stance. Oh, we gotta go and see Barris. Wonder what he's gonna have to say for himself. Oh, we got a quest. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. You make a good point. We're a rare breed, those of us who are red. Red skin is only a mark. It is the strongest indicator of a mighty heritage, but not the only one. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Oh. Sounds like we've got actors amongst us. In that case, I'm going to go and scan this one over here while we're down here. There's another one down here. Oh no, he's outside, so we'll do that when we go out. I can still hear a holocron. One there, isn't there? What's that squeaking? Remember, wherever you hear that sound, it tends to mean there's something nearby. This is the guy we need to scan. And I think there's two more. Oh, someone's challenging us. Oh crap, I just realised that she has got. She got bloody. What's going on here? Oh, I'm not damaging her. What the hell is this all about? Oh well. <laughs> Whoa, hang on. She actually killed me. That's not right. Normally you just get like, bow down on your knees to defeat. She actually killed me. Didn't help that she had vet though, to help her out. Of course. Right, let's go. To Barish. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? 
All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself. For your own good, curb your curiosity. <laughs> Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Vemrin. We'll kill him for you. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience, but consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. Mm -hmm. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man, and we're going to have the most potent of allies. Uh, what makes me think they're going to turn up dead instead of him? Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vemrin. I see the upstart, but no sign of Douglas. Clemrel, Vemrin, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Cocky Are kid. You having trouble with Acolyte Vemrin, supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, He's going to have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemrin has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand. Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your war blade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. I'll remember that. And someday you'll regret those words. <laughs> I wouldn't regret destroying you where you stand. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. The only code I need to know is kill or be killed. <laughs> Your ability is undeniable. But your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel. And bring back his hand as proof. It will be my extreme pleasure. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. Well, that was a twist, wasn't it? That probably weren't a good idea, but I heal up. We're going to be like level 15 before we even leave Corriban. That's good though. That's the way I like it. Uh, 
I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? <laughs> Today's my lucky day. Barris granted my wish. I get to kill you now. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well. You have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? You're strong, Acolyte. As strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. <laughs> I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. So confident, isn't he? He's got no idea I'm going to slaughter him. And there's the master stroke. Now, I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You are my greatest kill to date. I will rejoice in your blood. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. Job done. So we've got a new master now by the looks of it. I'm sure there's quests that are still missing. Never been in there. Are there? <laughs> Level 15 Sith Juggernaut. There he is. Barras. What's this? The Acolyte returns. And with a blooded weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? It was a day I will long remember. I savoured it completely. Good. Feast on that. Not every kill will be as meaningful. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the code and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. I'm glad to be free of Tremel. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. Alright. 
What's that that you just give us? Oh, credit box. Very nice indeed. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to leave this episode there, I think. Um, basically, the quest he's just given us is um, the last... I think it's the last... Oh no. We've got one more area after this next one to explore, and then we're off Caravan. Um, so, I reckon two more episodes and we'll be going to the fleet. Um, but we're at level 12 already, so we're going to be quite high level by the time we finish Coraban, which is strange. But hopefully, I think this XP ends soon. Which is 94.31. That's confusing. Right, yep. Anyway, I uh, will see you in the next episode where we'll be going to Chulak Horde's tomb and I think we're going to be doing a heroic mission. So I'll see you then. Jesse out.